everything you're watching was created with Sora 2. Sora 2 invites 10 a pop. Only a handful left. Step right up. No more hustling for invite code. That's good. Let me show you how to create a one-of-a-kind video. Huh? It's just a card. Link is in the description. All right, so once you click the link, you're going to land on Veed's Sora 2 page. Now, using it, it's very simple. Just type in your scene idea in as much detail as possible. You want to describe the who, the what, the where, and the when. And remember, the more detail you add, the more cinematic and realistic your video will be. You can even include dialogue here if you would like your characters to speak in the video. Next up, we're going to choose our aspect ratio and then you can click the sparkle icon. So here, we've got a choice to make. Do we want Sora 2 or Sora 2 Pro? Select the one that you want and then click that sparkle icon once more. So behind the scenes, V is going to generate your video in just a minute or two and it's going to have natural motion, realistic physics and perfectly synced audio. Now, trust me, the results, they actually look like real footage. It's not that old AI that you're used to that has glitches or warped objects, you know, that you might have seen before. This stuff is legit. So whether you're creating cinematic B-roll, dynamic social media hooks or placeholder footage that you need to match your exact vision, Sora 2 in Veed makes it fast, it makes it reliable, and it makes it incredibly realistic. All right, let's watch it back together. Looks like trouble's brewing. Ain't nothing we can't handle. So for a minute of work, that payoff is huge. If you're happy with your video, you can go ahead and click the download button. But if you do want to elevate it even further, you can click the edit button and we can add more bells and whistles inside Feed's editor. You could easily be using Sora 2 to create B-roll to overlay on your existing onboarding videos, safety briefings, or even to make product demos that feel 10 times more interesting to watch. In my case, it's a creative kind of cinematic angle that I've gone for and I want to enhance that so so I'm going to add in a retro location title on the screen. To do this, I'm just going to put my playhead at the very beginning of the timeline and then I'm going to click the text icon in the toolbar. So now I can choose from any of the templates that you see here or I can click title and I can customize my own, which is what I'm going to do. I'll just type in my text and then I can customize it by changing the font, the size, the color, the style, and even the animation. Then I can decide how long I'd like that title to stay on screen by adjusting it on the timeline. Now, if you do wanna add more titles, just move your playhead over to that point and just repeat. It's that easy. All right, I am happy with how this is looking, but let's say you wanted to go even further. You can add things like auto subtitles, extra sound effects, your own logo, and even slot in some stock footage. Everything is available within V. All right, let's export it in 4K and watch it back one final time. Looks like trouble's brewing. Ain't nothing we can't handle. So that is how you use Sora 2 with Veed without stressing over invite codes. So like I said, if you want to get started today, link is down in the description.